Y O YouTube, it's your boy Mike T's back at you with another video. Behind me is 30 different flavors or vinyls or puffs that you can use to transform your heat, transfer clothing into an idea that's one of a kind. Let me explain. So on the end we have black puff, orange, uh, multi-galaxy stripe, which is very popular. This has the sparkle in it. We have red, we have white, we have the original black, which is Econo V. Uh, the Royal Blue. I call this the Christmas pattern because that's the only thing I can think of. I didn't like the name of being there. Econo Flex Buffalo Plaid. Uh, my bad, y'all. So this is glitter right here. Army Fatigue. Snow Army Fatigue. The Yellow. Camille. Um, getting tongue tied. Hold on. Magenta. Neon green, brown, teal, Econo sensitive light flex red, uh, Econo coral, Econo rose gold, green, brown, um, chameleon yellow, the other chameleon was red, dark gray, kiwi puff, sublimation flock. This interesting color right here with all the sparkles in it. I'm just gonna call it black rainbow for right now. Bubble gum, Econo hairline, and sublimation fabric, which we're gonna be using in today's video. So, yo, let me get this situated and we'll tap right in. So when it comes to choosing Econo and which flavor or which pattern or which vinyl that you actually need for the job, they come with uh, instructions on their website, but they also send this how to use card right here. And all you do is scan that little capture code right there and it gives you press and cut settings as well as how to videos. And also on the back, it says, thank you for your support. And it gives a list of the various websites that they're on the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, things of that nature. So I must say the puff that they have is the best puff in the industry. And I believe they're up to like 30 or maybe even 40 flavors of puff. Flavors is another word for colors for me. So whenever you hear flavors and heat transfer vinyl, that's my way of expressing the colors and patterns that they do have to offer. Now, the Kiwi Puff is out. I actually did do a video over it, but I didn't like the way I shot it, so I'm going to reshoot it. I also have some Burgundy Puff um, as well as some Orange Puff, I do believe. The... Uh, black puff which you guys seen in the beginning of the intro and by the way that was just 40 flavors that's not all that i have i have probably a good 60 to 70 rows of econo transfers vinyl specialty vinyls and flex foils trust me when i say it's that good it's literally that good so make sure you guys tap in but what we're getting into today is the sublimation fabric, a uh, fabric that you can actually sublimate on with any image that you desire. Um, and this one, I'm making a shirt for myself, and it's going to be the cover of Notorious Big when he was a baby. And I already cut it out on the sublimation fabric, as you guys just seen. And now we're getting ready to print using Vibrant Vibes ink and sublimation paper the image so we can press it on to our substrate. Let's go. Grizzly March about to be available. Y'all see what's going on up there. That one's actually for a customer. Another one for a customer. So with that sublimation fabric, the cut settings was extremely high, especially if you're using a Cameo 4 or any of the Cameo editions. I'm not sure if it's the same for using a Roland or um, one of the other cutters that's out there that's available, like the Solo or maybe the Cricut. Um, my force was at a 20. I didn't use a mat. My speed was at a 5 and I was 4 on the dial. So that's what I use for my cut settings to get the perfect cut. This is a thick substrate and once again that pressure has to be up to 20 as far as the cut or the force. However you guys want to say it. Well, let's hop over to the actual 
image and so see what, what you guys see in front of the camera is the image of biggie the sublimation fabric um and the notorious ready to die which is actually the um, album cover so we're recreating the album cover sublimation paper i got from vibrant vibes inc this is the 13 by 19 um and also the sublimation ink came from vibrant vibes ink links will be in the description but when weeding this out i do have to use a tool it's not that hard to weed out but i'm gonna show you guys try to get on camera as best as i can still hit the corner flip over pull down then i remove the tool myself and i just go to being reckless with it because i know my cut settings were right if you're not peeling it back this easy that means your cut settings were off you need to stop immediately and adjust your cut settings. It should be literally that easy to get the image of Biggie's body out. So there's a bit of an offset on here. So when I do put the image on here, there will be a white border around it. Now you can control that in your Silhouette Studio and make it to the size that you think fits best or that you like the most. So you will need... Um, additional carrier sheet or tag sheet what i like to do though is simply peel it off and turn it around is this the way that's recommended to do it on the website absolutely not this is just something that i like to do with my trial and error and with me working with it for a while i kind of got my own way with it and i just simply lay it back down i'm trying to make it straight for the sake of this video but a lot of times i do not make it straight so now that fabric is Facing the sticky part of the carrier sheet and the adhesive part is now outside Basically it reversed if You don't want to go through this you need to have yourself some uh, a roll of clear tack I would say probably heavy tack Not a medium, but you want to flip that over so now that this adheres to the shirt and your sublimation fabric is now covered. So when the heat hits it, it doesn't change colors. So I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna get everything lined up and onto the press and I'll see you at the press. So I'm gonna cut this image fairly close to the hair and to the actual shape of the body because it's gonna make it easier when I go to line this up on the actual black shirt. Temperature is set at 380 degrees and I'm pressing for 48, 50 seconds. I did this based upon my trial and error experiences with working with the sublimation fabric. Um, you have to do your own due diligence. Each press is different. You may have the exact same press, but yours may press at 375 for 40 seconds instead of 380 degrees for 48 to 50 seconds. You just have to do your own due diligence. All right, so here's the reverse image or reverse sublimation fabric. I peeled off and I actually flipped around and used the same carrier sheet. We don't want to waste. And I'm getting ready to press this on to the shirt. I'm going a little bit more than four fingers down because there's going to be uh, the album cover over top and it's going to say ready to die at the bottom. So for your pressure, as far as your press, that, that just depends on you. Mine's was set for super color, so I'm gonna just leave it at that because I want a good firm hold. I don't think that it smashes it or it harms this in any way, as I did do the other shirt and I did not adjust the pressure. So I'm just gonna leave what's working, working. After all, don't fix it if it ain't broke. So it actually doesn't need to press for 50 whole seconds. I'm gonna let it press for 10. Stop it. Peel this away. And that exposes our actual sublimation fabric. No need to waste the carrier sheet. So for this part, you're gonna have to line up. The best results that I found with this is using your light on your phone so you can kind of see through. There's actually no other way that I found yet to line it up. And listen, if you make a mistake, it's all right. Don't cry, don't quit, don't stumble. Get up, try it again. You may not have another shirt, so take that shirt and practice doing offsets. Practice doing pre-presses. So 
So usually I just use a light like this to kind of see what's going on in front. As long as I can see enough of the uh, offset on the outside, then I know I'm lined up pretty good. But I made indentations in the cut as far as the top of the head go, so I knew where to line it up right there, where the neck is, and also where the toes are at. Trust me, this will help you. And once again, if it's not too perfect, it's my shirt. I don't care. I mean, we're aiming for perfection, but you don't always get it. I just don't want it to be a reason that you quit. Now, with this, we're going to actually cover it with a Teflon sheet, and we're going to actually press it for the full 50 seconds. Well, we we'll use another sublimation sheet. Oh, crap. Let those two sing together. Hopefully you guys are having a blessed, productive day and all is going in your favor. Um, keep going against the grain. Don't worry about anything that you may have pressing or stressing you. Just continue to go throughout the day. guys that wraps up the video so that's my how to sublimate on sublimation fabric using econo i gotta say i am in love with it i think that i'm going to be using it more so on the varsity jackets moving forward and some of the other things that i have some niche ideas for um how can it help you upgrade your business it adds that it adds character it definitely is an upsell or upgrade to just your regular um heat transfer vine so consider using it check them out the link will be in the description like i always say guys break the sky with your creativity don't let nobody stop you don't let nobody get in the way of you shining or making it to the top often a lot of times people will say well you're wasting time what are you doing with your time that leads them to be in your business. You don't have to tell them or discuss what it is that you're doing in your time. Let your work show. Let your effort show. Let what you do show. And in time, they'll be asking, are you hiring? But yo, my name is Mike Tease. I'm up out of here. It's officially over for today. I'm out.